lesson takes us to one of the most important lessons you can possibly get into. It's called Spanish subject pronouns. You know that the Spanish subject pronouns are yo, tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, ellos, ellas, and ustedes. But you need to know what they are in English and where to go for the information. For example, all subject pronouns are these. There is a singular side and a plural side. The singular side includes just one person. The plural side includes at least two people. But every once in a while, I want to talk about me, want to talk about I, want to talk about number one. Oh my, me, my, what I think, what I like, what I know, what I want, what I see. I like to if I were to do a sentence, I am Senor Dean, a simple translation for I is Yo, every single time. If I'm translating, I'm going to use yo. That makes life really easy. You, 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 you. I want to talk about you, you, you. If I wanted to say you are a student, I'm going to say you, or in other words, do. Eres un estudiante. And of course, we'll learn that next. But for right now, all we're doing is... You is going to be do. Now there's a difference between the different you and you. The normal you is going to be do. So every time we say you are anything, like you are a student, then we're going to use do. Now technically, this is called you informal. That's what it's te technically called. But if we don't even mention anything, if I say you, you're going to say do. That's all you gotta 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 do. If I wanted to say he is tall, then I find how to say he. It's gonna be L, and I say L, and then I match the verb with that, including the adjective, which we'll talk about later. All of these are singular. If I wanted to say you are the teacher, and I'm talking to the teacher, I'm probably going to be formal. That's when you use usted. The, the subject pronoun usted is the formal you. You use this one when you're talking to maybe a teacher or somebody older than you, somebody you don't know. That's going to make the difference between informal. Informal tu is used with your friends, somebody you know, somebody your same age perhaps. But usted is used in formal situation where you don't know somebody, you're talking to a teacher, somebody older than you. That's the difference. So if I say you formal, that's going to be usted. And we will always clarify it in this class. If you ever hear a you and it's not included with anything after it, if I don't say you formal, it's going to be two. But if I say you formal, then that's going to be the difference when you say usted. And you got to conjugate it down in this particular box. I always make everybody point. And when you point to the box, you're literally going to put your hand in the box. If I say I, boom, you're in the upper box right here. If I say you, I don't say formal, I say just you, then I'm going to go to that box right there. If I say he, I'm down in the bottom box. It's kind of hard to do this in just this chair. If I say we, boom, I'm up in that box right there. When you get back into class in a couple weeks, I'm going to make you put your hand in the correct box. I think that's going to really help you a lot. But every once in a while, I want to talk about me, want to talk about I, want to talk about number one. Oh, my, me, my. 